This is my 1950 uh, Fleetline Deluxe. Um, just got this car a couple of months ago. Picked it up in Pomona, California. <clears throat> um, I've done a little bit of work to it since I got it to uh, try and make it my own, give it my own flavor. Still got some work to go, but uh, for now, uh, the, the car is bagged uh, in the rear only. Um, I've already got all the AccuAir and the E-Level, which I talked about earlier, uh, coming for the front. But uh, for right now, uh, it's only bagged in the rear. I've been looking for a fleet line for quite some time. In my opinion, it's one of the prettiest style lines of any car, even to date. This sloped roof, um, this fastback that they call it sometimes, uh, in my opinion, is just absolutely gorgeous. So, um, got the car detailed. The paint was in pretty rough shape when I got it. Um, so had the car ceramic coated and polished and uh, really brought out the shine. Um, put some new rear tires on it. Got some mob steel uh, 18s on the front and uh, Ray at Shanti Customs uh, custom painted them for me. Did some custom pinstriping. Uh, the little white wall in the windows, uh, I think was a, a beautiful touch. Got the motor running, it was running, but it uh, wasn't running that great, so I had to do some carburetor work and some other stuff on it. But uh, the car cruises, man, it's a five-speed uh, manual transmission with an open uh, diff, as they call it. So this thing on the highway, you cruise at 70 miles an hour and uh, it just runs. It's got the original inline six 235 uh, engine, which purrs like a kitten, sounds like a little sewing machine, and uh, it really, really runs well. So again, the original 235, um, it's got a little more power than the 216. I think it's got 110 horsepower instead of 90 horsepower. So it's, uh, it's not a rocket by any means, but it does cruise very, very nice. And this one has AC as well? This one does not have AC yet. Uh, it will have AC before summer gets here. Um, Cause yeah. in South Florida, if you don't have AC, I just truly think you don't get to enjoy your cars as much as you normally would. You so need AC in Miami. Definitely need AC in Miami. Can we move into the interior and take a look at it? Sure. So the car came with this interior. Um, it's pretty nice for the most part. Um, I would have done some things different. I don't like that they put the speakers in the door panels. So that's something that uh, I already have on my list to change out, relocate those speakers and redo the door panels. Um, it has the butterfly steering wheel, which I absolutely love. Um, that's an expensive wheel if you try and find one on eBay. Um, so uh, really like that. Put the pipe, the smoking pipe as a little accessory. Um, the flower as a little accessory with the vase. And uh, still gotta spice it up in here. I gotta relocate, take the radio, the stereo out from underneath the dash. I don't like that being visible. Put a Bluetooth system in it. Um, so there's still some work I gotta do on the inside, but for right now I'm focusing uh, you know, at least it's in good shape. It's not torn, it's not, uh, you know, it doesn't have any holes in it. So for the most part, it looks great. And uh, I'm gonna focus on the front suspension and the air conditioning for now. And then I'll move into the, uh, to the inside. Very good. Another cool feature with this car um, that a lot of people don't know is that the back windows actually roll down. So. Pretty cool, both rear windows roll down. I didn't know about it. Yeah. Some people ask me which is my favorite car. For now, it's this one, man. I mean, I've really, really fallen in love with this thing. Um, again, I just love the looks. I love the fastback. Um, there's really not any, if any, or, you know, if there's one or two maybe running around Miami, there's not many. Um, so I always like to have something a little different, AKA the long bed with the camper top. Um, now the fleet line fastback deluxe. So still got a little bit of that low rider California flavor. It's got straight pipes. Um, so some people call them the pipas. So it's got a little bit different exhaust than most cars that you'd hear down here in South Florida, but uh, some people like it, some people hate it. Um, I think it's different and I think it's cool. So for now I'm gonna rock it, so.
So the trunk, clean, um, they put some carpet in it. Uh, it's gotten zero rust. That's one thing I really like about the car. California cars, as most of us know, um, you always have a better chance of getting a clean car and very, very little rust. So um, the car's got a couple spots here and there, but for the most part, it's very, very clean. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, these are my two cars and uh, hope to see you guys uh, out on the streets cruising.